In the still of the night, I descry bright moonlight in front of my bed. I suspect it to be hoary frost on the floor. I watch the bright moon as I tilt back my head. I yearn while stooping for my homeland more. A tranquil night, a bed. I see a silver light. I wonder if it's frost to ground. Looking up. I find the moon bright, bowing. In homesickness, I'm drowned. In the quiet night, so bright a gleam on the foot of my bed. Could there have been a frost already? Lifting my head to look, I found that it was moonlight. Sinking back again, I thought suddenly of home. Night thoughts. I wake. And moonbeams play around my bed, glittering like hoar frost to my wandering eyes. Up towards the glorious moon, I raise my head, then lay me down, and thoughts of home arise. On a quiet night, I saw the moonlight before my couch, and wondered if it were not the frost on the ground. I raised my head and looked out on the mountain moon. I bowed my head and thought of my far-off home. The moon shines everywhere. Seeing the moon before my couch so bright, I thought hoarfrost had fallen from the night. On her clear face, I gaze with lifted eyes, then hide them, full of youth's sweet memories. Night thoughts. In front of my bed, the moonlight is very bright. I wonder if that can be frost on the floor. I lift up my head and look at the full moon, the dazzling moon. I drop my head, and think of the home of old days. Thoughts in a tranquil night, athwart the bed, I watch the moonbeams cast a trail, so bright, so cold, so frail, that for a space it gleams, like hoarfrost on the margin of my dreams. I raise my head, the splendid moon I see, then droop my head, and sink to dreams of thee, my fatherland of thee. Nostalgia, a splash of white on my bedroom floor, hoarfrost. I raise my eyes to the moon, the same moon, as scenes long past come to mind. My eyes fall again on the splash of white, and my heart. Aches for home. 你好啊，我是最在乎你的英语老师英语兔。刚刚我为你朗读的是静夜思的九个英语版本。静夜思这首诗，可能你还没上小学就会背了，而且应该现在还能脱口而出。静夜思是李白远离家乡、客居扬州时写的，同时写下的还有一首诗《秋夕旅怀》。这首诗的最后一句“寒杯响旧国”。气下谁能挥？静夜思的情感基调和《秋夕旅怀》是一样的孤寂悲凉。英语兔，我最喜欢这些译文中的第九个版本。那你觉得上面的九个译文版本，哪一个是你最喜欢的？可以在评论区留下喜欢的原因哦。好，这次就到这里。我是最在乎你的英语老师英语兔，请花几秒钟帮忙关注、点赞、转发、评论，十分感谢。我们下次再见。